Next news is out of Noida, India. A man tries to rape a woman in a Noida park. Strangers intervene and then rape her. This woman uh, was going to meet a man that she knew um, at a park because he said that he had a job opportunity for her and she wanted to get more information on it. So she she meets him at this park, um, 8 o'clock at night, and the guy tries to start raping her. So she starts screaming for someone to help. Two guys jump in, beat the crap out of the guy who was trying to rape her. In her mind, she's like, oh, thank goodness, I've been saved. No. Then they rape her. Um, and then they phone three more friends who come and rape her. What? Uh, and then she ends up going to the police um, after that, you know, having to scramble to the police station and report them. Um, most of them have been gathered by the police officers, um, but there's still two men that haven't been arrested. And so they're offering a reward for it. And she's she's currently getting treatment. Okay, Shopam, what is this? What's going on here? Give us some understanding. Uh, okay, so like it's in Uttar Pradesh, and this is not exactly Hinduism, of course. Uh, like rape is not uh, particular to one religion, but it's like most things, like the culture, the the culture there. Uh, it's like uh, they don't really treat women as equals and stuff, and. Of course, they are like uh, women are just property, and they have this misogynist idea that women would love sex and everything, and kind of like that. So hmm. they're just like if uh, they um, many people actually, I think most people, most men in that state are like uh, they can't see independent women. Wait, this is a very, just, this is not tied completely uh, to religion, but it is uh, in one of the most religious states in India. Is that it correct? is? It is the it is the most religious state, I would say. So how? India. So even if it doesn't tie to uh, religion, at least it does suggest what we say all the time that e even if religion doesn't make you less moral, it doesn't make you more moral, either. Yep. Right. Yes. Right. And. I and I can bet, by the way, that all these five or six men, I can bet they were Hindus. Okay, but that doesn't that doesn't directly that doesn't that's make just, it. That's on them. That, that's that on just them. proves yeah. that being religious doesn't make you moral or anything. Right. Okay. So, but uh, is this a so? Whenever we talk about India and rape, a lot of people from India get really, really worked up, and they always start talking about other countries. Uh, and they mentioned that it's not as bad in in India as other people claim to be. It, it, what what are you what are your thoughts? Is this a cultural issue in India? Is yeah, right? I would say it's a cultural issue. There are many reasons. Uh, first, let me. I can I can defend and offend India in this case. I'll choose to offend uh, here because uh, when most people say, okay, see the percentages in India. India has a huge population, so there will be more cases in India related to that. While in other countries like in USA, uh, rape percentages are of uh, more usually more than in India. But here's the thing, like. Most women in India don't really report rape cases, and even men, men can be raped, and they don't usually report the cases. There are many reasons uh, for this because, first of all, if, like, say, a woman reports the case, uh, it's very likely that the police won't want to file the case because uh, the men's lives would be in jeopardy, and it is also very likely that her family or her village people and everyone around her would consider her disgusting and defiled and everything. Right. And so, so, yep. so one thing that the people from India point out is that if you actually adjust per, if you look at total numbers of rapes in India, then you get a really big number, right? But if you adjust it per capita, um, it doesn't look as bad compared to other countries. Yeah, but, like but, I said, most cases don't get reported. But yeah, but the issue with that is that the way you define not only reporting, but also definition of rape, like in European countries, is very different from in India, right? Like, for example, if your husband rapes you, in, in Europe, it might be considered rape. In India, not only... 
other kinds of rape doesn't get reported maybe the woman that this was done to she she might not even consider it as rape herself even the rip even oh. the, even the yeah, victim, yeah, yeah. even the victim might not consider it a rape for her to even consider reporting it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, you're dealing uh, with I, just like about that, about yeah. that one thing. Uh, marital rape in India is legal, by the way. Right, like it's legal. Uh, okay, so the law. Yeah, is, it is legal for a husband to rape her wife, okay. uh, rape his wife. So it's not only underreported; it's also definition-wise, like the number. So the numbers in India are a lot more than what is being reported. Right. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Right. right. So you're, the statistics that you're working with is not really reliable. You can't compare rape, num rape numbers in the United States to India, given how underreported ra rape statistics are. But, but, but we don't. We can't also exaggerate. Like we don't know. We, so we're like blind here. We, all we know is that a, a lot of women in India do not feel safe. Is that fair? To say? I, I would say that's fair because the uh, women actually say stuff like, okay, I don't want to wear short clothes or a bit more revealing or comfortable clothes just because I'm walking down the road at night and I don't, I want to feel safe, I, else I'll feel unsafe and that stuff happens. Women don't feel safe here and as a nation it's, it's failed because if your citizens don't feel safe then you are a failed nation. Um, so here's an interesting. So the top comment says, I on, I'm honestly no longer surprised at the atrocities human beings can commit. I just feel heartbroken for the woman. I don't like this defeatist attitude because, yeah, we have a lot of atrocities, but we are making a lot of progress. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, yeah, you don't, you don't be surprised, but still work on reducing them. Alex, so there seems to be a lot of laugh reactions to this. No, no, most of the top reactions are angry, but I don't know why some people have went and screenshotted the people that are laughing. And Alex, yeah, actually, on the on the first day after it got posted, hmm. uh, the most reactions it got was uh, the laughing reaction. Really? Yeah. Um, so some people are screenshotting the people that uh, laughing and trying to like um, call them out. Shame them shame them yeah. and alex is saying people who laugh at this uh, only come to show you that being an atheist is not necessarily a sign of being intelligent or having empathy with other human beings yeah i mean duh like i don't even know where why people are like oh this all sh oh, this shows that atheists are not all intelligent like who even who is suggesting that like no that shouldn't even be a suggestion if you ever assume that you're one of the reasons why that's not true, <laughs> right? Anyway, right. But not only that, I mean, we do have people who are non-atheists that come to our page. Yeah, we do. But... Um, so just assuming everyone here is an atheist because we're atheist or public is also a bit. Yeah, but at the same time, we do have a lot of atheists that are not very good people. So I mean, that's not surprising to me at all, mm -hmm. or not very smart. Actually, also uh, some of the hard reacts. Uh, are also kind of like it's a rape case in India and uh, for many people outside here it's like okay what's new that stuff and people like how react I've seen uh, some reacts like those they're like okay rape in India what's new haha <laughs> so r India has become very f famous for the high number of rape cases right like I know um, is that a fair you know stereotype okay here, here's here's what I think actually the fact that it is uh, getting more uh, reported rape cases nowadays is a good sign because uh, you know it's the 21st century and uh, the millennials and the gen z they are not like as uh, embarrassed or as shy as the previous generations and mm -hmm. they're more into feminism and the me too movement and stuff and they're like okay no i don't care about what the society thinks i'll come out and report this case Right. And more people are reporting cases, and that's a good sign, actually. So they're not embarrassed. They're not. They're not thinking about saving the reputation of the country. They're actually more interested in fixing the problems in their country. Yeah, right. this this does prove that not everyone is a, a nationalist here. This does right. prove that there are sensible people here. And and by the way, for people that think like feminism and Me Too is all nonsense because they're all looking at everything from a Western perspective, uh, look at like. Look, feminism 
and has done a lot of good in India, right? And that's a, at least one of the countries that is very much needed. And the Me Too movement in India had made a big, big positive difference, right? So just because yes. if you come up with stories where Me Too might have backfired, please don't dismissing play, uh, the cases where it actually has been very, very helpful, right? That's fair to say? Yep. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.